Hello and welcome to this episode of The Classics. Today we will be taking a look at uh, exercise 26. So it's called, uh, in French, it's called uh, Formule de John Machin, or Machine, or I don't know how to pronounce it. So the formula of uh, John Machine, Machin, I don't know how to pronounce his name, sorry. Um, so it's this. Uh, we have two sets of uh, positive and non-zero uh, reals, x and y, with uh, x inferior to y. So we want to calculate this thing here, arctangent of x divided by y plus arctangent uh, y minus x, y plus x. Then we want to calculate four arctangent of 1 over 5, and we want to show this thing here. So let's take a look at number 26. Oops. Uh, okay. So we have this formula. It comes from it comes from uh, lots of stuff like its property of tangent. So then we apply um, a to be this arctangent <clears throat> and b to be equal to that arctangent. So we get this. <clears throat> so uh, we have arctangent a uh, tangent of arctangent. So we can just remove it. Uh, because it's equal to the identity and we have tangent of arc tangent here as well so we get this and actually we have this here as well and here as well so um, we get this this uh, this thingy and by simplifying we get that is it's equal to x squared plus y squared divided by x squared plus y squared that is equal to one so um, we know that this is in range zero one uh, so x divided by y is in range 0, 1 because of the inequality of how we define x and y and this is it as well so they are both in range 0, 1 so this means that this uh, by uh, applying arctangent is, is between 0, uh, pi and 4 so um, we uh, then sum them so by summing 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 and uh, we get uh, that they, it's below pi on 2. So we know that we have something, uh, a tangent something that is equal to 1. Uh, and we know that it's uh, between 0 and pi on 2. Uh, so we know that uh, this is equal to pi on 4 because uh, we apply arctangent. And arctangent of tangent will cancel out. And our tangent of 1 for positive is pi and 4. So we know that 1 over 5 is between 0 and 1. So our tangent 1 over 5 is between 0 and pi and 4. We multiply it by 4. And we know that it's between uh, 0 and pi. And we'll just uh, put it aside. So we calculate a uh, tangent of 2 our tangent pi, uh, our tangent 1 over 5. So we get this by using uh, the previous formula with a equal b, this one. Um, so we have tangent of r tangent, so it's equal to 1 over 5. And we have tangent squared r tangent, so that means it's uh, identity squared, so our identity times identity, so 1 over 5 times 1 over 5 is equal to 1 over 25. So we get this, we reduce, we get 5 divided by 12. We do the same thing with tangent uh, 4 arctangent 1 over 5. We get this, we um, simplify, and we get this. We get um, we get this. So um, we, we get that uh, this is superior to 0. We get that this is between 0 and pi, as we said earlier. We know that this is equal to this because we've proved it. So we can, because we applied um, arctangent in both sides so we take this and we apply arctangent so the arctangent of tangent will be equal to identity so we get this equality here uh, now we use the previous formula so this one uh, yeah uh, this one with x is equal to uh, 1 and y is equal to uh, 2 3 9 so we get this um, and earlier um, in another episode, so I don't remember which one, uh, it was um, 
it was actually which one yeah number four we proved that uh, l of x is equal to sine x times pi n2 so we use that formula from episode four Uh, we use it here, so I just write the the equality, um, and then uh, we have this inequality, and I apply in uh, x is equal to one over two three nine. So oh wait, I apply it in uh, in uh, this thingy here. So we get this equality from uh, just replacing this. So we get this, uh, and then this can be replaced with 4 arctangent 1 over 5. So we know that this is equal to pi n2 minus 4 times arctangent 1 over 5. So pi n4 is equal to us. Uh, oh, yeah. So we take this and we uh, replace it in here. And then we get that pi n4 is equal to 4 times arctangent 1 over 5 minus arctangent 1 over 239. And this method was used by John Mach Machin, or Machine, or I don't know how to say his name, I'm sorry, in uh, 1706, uh, 06, sorry, to calculate uh, 100 numbers um, of the, the, the numerical values of pi. So basically, he calculated this to get the value of pi. And it was fairly useful, and it's a really good approximation. Well, 100 numbers is a really lot, and this was fairly useful in the history to find the values of pi. So that's it for this exercise. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I'd be glad to answer them. And bye.